Look at that. They're all looking nice and healthy. Their body weights are getting bigger. Their heads are getting bigger. You can see this venom gland starting to pop. But look what we've got here, man. Isopods. And she loves them. She tears them up. He's trying, to, he's trying to use any leverage he can. How's my hair? How's my makeup? Good, good. Yeah, no, your makeup's good. Your hair's good too. It's fluffy. Yeah. All right, my friends. We're back in the snake room. We got frogs. We got frogs. We got locks, we got frogs, we got bugs, all right? We're gonna do this quick. This is gonna be a turbo speed changing and feeding, all right? Now I'm gonna throw some frogs in with some of them. Some of them have already eaten. Believe it or not, we do take care of snakes off camera sometimes. Isn't that weird? Oh. Hey, I don't think they all ate because you didn't film it. Hey, well, guess what? They did. Now it wouldn't be St. Patrick's Day if we didn't get in there. If a little green boy buzz. I was thinking, even though I already came up with the really creative names of Greeny and Bluey, I was thinking I might change the green one's name to like Pat or Patty or something, you know? Green, leprechaun type shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know what you think. Because as, as good as Greeny is, it's probably the most original pet name on YouTube. I'm just worried someone's gonna copy it, so I figure we should probably change it. They're getting real big. A three meals in now, or two, two or three meals in, depending on the snake. Serious growth being noticed. These frogs, when they first started eating them, were like, Psh, bigger than their head. Now look at them. They're big guys, mine. They're getting real big, mine. Now you can see this one's a bit smaller, but not as small as she was, mine. Now I don't know if it's a female, I can't confirm that. Let's find out to get a mine. Now, it's a little tough to see, because I don't want to quite go touch around the tail. It's a really sensitive area for these young vipers, especially these arboreal vipers. They'll twitch that tail, it's a different color. It's kind of how I get them to eat the frogs just by touching their tail. And I don't want to trigger the feeding response and get bit by. But look, quite a long tail after that cloaca, which makes me think this is also a male. Two males. Hmm, I might be wrong, but I've never been wrong before, so why start now, you know what I'm saying? Hey, look at that. They're all looking nice and healthy. Their body weights are getting bigger. Their heads are getting bigger. You can see this venom gland starting to pop. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we love to see. I'll tell you that. Number three, it's you and me. All seven of these vipers are eating. All seven of these vipers are growing. All seven of these vipers are looking great. My lord, look at him. This one's got a bit of an attitude on him. It's all right, man. I understand, man. Thank you, guys. Number three, down for the count. Just really look at it. Just do the thing. We talked about it. There we go. There we go. Pop. And that's what you get for not following the script. Number four, looking good as ever. Oh, yeah, come on. Man, these have such thick heads, bro. For these little snakes, they got thick, thick viper heads. I know I'm shaking like a freaking schizo, but I ate a lot of coffee this morning. You can still see on some of these snakes, though, there's a little slit in their ventrals. That's from when they were still being incubated. Their, their moms are ovoviviparous which means they have eggs inside of them. And then once the eggs hatch, they poop out the baby. So they don't actually lay eggs. It looks like live birth, but it's different than mammals, how we'll just grow the baby. They grow the eggs, eggs hatch, they poop them out. That's not the scientific term, by the way, guys, in case you're wondering, they don't poop them out. Same whole multiple functions, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean. Number five, the champion eater of the group. Now this guy, He's quickly becoming one of my favorite snakes that I have got in the house. You know why? Because he likes to eat the food. I don't like when he likes to eat the food. These green, oh, chill out, bro. These green vipers are so freaking cool, dude. I know everyone loves the blues. I say it every time. Something about that natural green. Not that the blue is not natural, but that cryptic, cryptic, ooh, cryptic, cryptic coloration. Knowing that if that dude's on a tree branch, you ain't seen him. Old son, unless you see the ventral scales, you ain't seen him. But let's get him cleaned up. But dude, like I was saying earlier, I know everyone says lizards and alligators are dragons, but if you really look at the head of a snake, come on, brother, that's a dragon right there. Don't tell me it ain't, or I'm gonna get pissed off at you. My little bugger is a little 
can. I smell just like you. Come on, dude. Come on, man. sure if that bite was for predation or defense. So I'm gonna move it just a bit. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna give him some time. I'm gonna put the glass back on here. We're gonna move over to these two little things in this cage here. We'll come back to him if he starts eating. If not, we'll feed it to the pine snake or something. Actually, we'll throw it away because he bit it and now it's full down. But either way. All right, next up, we got the classics. Green and bluey. Oh no! Uh oh, viewer discretion is advised. What? Well, we have a suicide. A snake? No. Looks like someone got bit and then got lost. It's a waste of five dollars right there, is what that is. Alright, check this out. I've been looking for some for a while, but it was tough to find them. But look what we've got here, mate. Isopods. Now I'm not sure which. These are papaya, these are papaya isopods, I suppose. That's what it says there. So these are basically our cleanup crew. You know, we could also get springtails, but for now this is this is plenty fine. So what these guys are gonna do, they're gonna help make that terrarium bioactive. They're gonna help fertilize the plants. They're gonna help eat the snake poop and turn it into something that the plants can actually eat instead of just poop. So these guys, we got about 10 of them in here. We're gonna just dump them in there. They're gonna go do their thing and then we're gonna try to feed them some frog. Eh, look at that, y'all. As soon as we said goodnight, goodbye, and see you later, Old Gaboon said, whoa, 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 whoa. Make sure you put my Instagram in there. I want them to see me eating. Well, you don't have an Instagram, dude, so they're gonna have to follow me and Blake, but that's good enough, right? All right, cool. All right, interesting. I opened my window to yell at my dog and the curly tail jumped in. That's the thing about us herpers, man. Where we go, we shouldn't be herping. We don't catch lizards, we don't catch snakes, we don't catch turtles. Shit, I might even catch frog in here. I done lost a few in the snake room already. Check number one, that's usually eats rats, but nothing wrong with a diverse diet. Nothing wrong with a little chicken when you're usually eating some pork and some beef. Some, some bird meat, it's real good for you. And she loves them. She tears them up. You don't want to be that chick. Cause that chick's dead and now she's eaten by a snake. Get it dude, you don't want, you don't, yeah, you get it. All right, I'm gonna leave. Actually, I'm gonna let her eat that. I'm gonna go over and feed Mr. Rambunctious over here. He's out sunning. He's out enjoying that heat lamp that he's got on him. And guess what else he's about to enjoy? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. You are number one teammate. I give you this rat or this bird. Chick, chick. And now look at him. He smells it, but he can't see it. Oh, boom. And you know he's a wild eater. You already know that. He's a thrasher. What you call in nature a thrasher, where he does have the ability to constrict, but he really just overpowers his prey. He'll end up almost eating it alive. Now, obviously, he's not eating these alive because they're dead. Get off me. He's trying, to, he's trying to use any leverage he can. <laughs> hey dude, what is your deal? Now that is what you call a food response. He's not venomous, not aggressive, but he is very, very food motivated. Check that guy out. He just flew out of the cage, tried to bite me on my Johnson, bit me on the shoe. Now he's sitting there, he's rattling his tail. He's saying, Pepe, you back up, dude. I'm eating. I'm vulnerable right now. I don't like you near me. Well, hey, Dingus, 
That's why you have a cage. We're gonna let him eat that right there. When he's about halfway done, I'll lift him up, throw him in there, but I don't want him to spit that out. Cause then he'll bite me along me, and that sucks. So we're gonna let him do his thing. He's a complete jerk, obviously. And uh, we'll see you in a second. All right, Mr. Fabricio's done. We don't have a name yet, so I'm gonna just call him a different name in every video until you guys like one. So today he's Fabricio. And look at that big old belly on him. Using those muscles to work that thing down to the stomach as he does. And also I still kind of think it's a female because of how short her tail such his tail is. So maybe today I'll call her Shelly. Shelly! Like from South Park. Yeah, I've been watching South Park lately. I don't know if you can tell. So what we're gonna do here for Shelly, we're gonna drop that right on her. Give it a scoop. Give it a tug. Give it a pat down. And that light's even in from the corners. Happy Snake, Happy Blake. Am I right, Blake? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Secure. Secure. Done. But he's done with the first one. Pull another one in. Listen to that snake, how defensive he is. And he is a diurnal snake, so he's got pretty good eyesight. So hopefully, if I just drop this right here. Whoop, now we just gotta stand still. I might have to move my fingers over here a bit. Now he is letting me know that he sees me. He smells that chicken. And unfortunately for me, my hands also smell like chicken. So if he gets a hold of me, he ain't gonna let go. He's obviously non-venomous. He doesn't have very big teeth, but if we can avoid it. If we can avoid it, we'd love to avoid it. No. He has a tendency to just start from the most inconvenient angles when eating. Let's see if he goes from the head today. Oh my gosh, he might actually do it. And you can tell he knows it's the meal. He's just trying to find the optimal angle right now. So, oh, is it the head mic? Oh, look at him. Good job, dude. He actually started from the head. Now these chicks are full of calcium, full of protein, full of lots of vitamins and minerals that these snakes need to grow. We give them a nice diverse diet here. Our larger snakes, they get rats, they get chicks. Sometimes we feed them haters from the comments. They get all sorts of stuff. They're really, really healthy snakes. Trying to use any leverage he can. 